Anthony Ojeda is facing charges of manslaughter and assault. Cohoes police say their investigation started Tuesday morning. EMS had been called to Ojeda's apartment on Van Vechten Street in Cohoes. Court paperwork says Ojeda said the baby boy was born premature and woke up from a nap and was having difficulty breathing. The baby was brought to Albany Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. Police say they began their investigation after emergency staff at the hospital became suspicious of the circumstances. It's then Ojeda told them what happened. He believes that the, uh, the child got into a substance that, uh, that was left in the house and that uh, he was having a medical emergency. He ultimately didn't seek treatment for that because he was uh, concerned for his well-being legally and, um, and that led to ultimately the, the baby's death. Detective Lieutenant Jason Johnston wouldn't say what the substance was, but court documents state the baby ingested methamphetamine that was left out at the apartment. But many wonder how a six-week-old could get a hold of that. The investigation's ongoing. We're still following leads, obviously. We're still interviewing people. Cohoes police say the investigation led to an assault charge as well for an incident that happened in early November. He admitted he caused injury to the child. Court documents say Ojeda forcibly picked up the baby because he was angry that the baby woke him up by crying. Documents say the baby suffered from broken ribs. Oh, Detective good. Lieutenant Johnston says this is a time to remind parents if you need help, get it. If you feel like you're outmatched or you're having trouble, uh, becoming a parent is obviously very, a very huge step in life. And, and if, uh, if you think you're... If you think you're stressed out or you're having trouble, call for help.